Hi, I'm here at Roots Tech 2012 once again. Last year I travelled all the way to the United States for the first Roots Tech conference. And one of the things I bought while I was here was a new tech toy. I love my tech toys. It was a FlipPal mobile scanner. Now, it has been hard for Australians to get a FlipPal mobile scanner. And every time I pull my little scanner out in a library or an archive or I've given a talk or two where I've pulled it out and shown people, the Australians have turned green with envy. Now a number of my mates have been able to get people from the United States of America to ship a scanner to them or people travelling back have kindly brought one in their luggage. Now I snagged today at Roots Tech the people behind the Flip Power mobile scanner. This isn't an ad, they haven't given me one for free. Um, and I thought I'd ask them a bit about the scanner, what it does, what it'll do for you how they can get hold of it and hopefully they may have some news for people down under. So I'd like to ask Walt Grady and Diane Miller if they can tell me a little bit about their techie toy. Maybe a way to uh, start off is for Diane who's been with a company longer than I to talk about its roots. What a good word! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And it started out when our founder, CEO, um, was taking a full-size scanner to a relative's house to scan the photos. And he goes, there must be a better way. And that's when the idea started to develop for the Flip Palm Mobile Scanner. And he found the rest of us to collaborate, come together. I designed the user interface, uh, another designed the mechanics and the outside parts um, and brought it to you. Because I'm not too into or video interviews, I'm wondering if this can actually be seen. Would you like to open and shut it and show sure. people please, Ron? Sure. So the flip out right out of the box looks like a paperback. Oh. And um, would you say it's about the same weight as a paperback? A big paperback. <laughs> but it is quite light. So before the batteries are installed, it's only a pound and a half, Joe. Mm -hmm. And uh, right out of the box, it has uh, a lid. This is what it looks like. And it has an SD card that is used to store data, just like mm -hmm. on your digital camera. Yep. And the batteries are already installed. There are four double A's that come installed. So it's up and ready to go. And Diane has some stories where people have been up and running how quickly? Um, within three minutes. Oh, absolutely. Open the box. Even the clamshell that it's packed in is not hard to open. We, we tried to design it so it would be really fast, really easy to use, and not be over technical. We took care of the, that part. It, it, it is simple. I can use it. There's absolutely no drama. So it only has a couple switches, literally two. two. You turn it on with the switch right here, and it's ready to go in two to three seconds. You can put images uh, right into the tray right here that are four by six or smaller and you press the green button and you are off and running. It's so easy. Six seconds for a 300 dpi scan and about twice as long for a 600 dpi scan and the beauty of this is people have really loved how you can put an image here hold this closed while you're watching the telly do you call it to tell me in Australia? We do. Okay. Yeah. And that's what I do. I got a hint from Lorene in Canada who bought one as well, I think before I did. And she said she just sits on the couch watching TV or the telly, scanning old photos. I've got lots of those little tiny ones. I don't know how big they are, but they're mighty small from my dad's days. And I just sit watching the telly, scan, press, scan, press, scan, press. Easy as. So the lid flips off when there's something that's larger than a four by six. Mm. And how about if I hold this, Diane, okay. while you give a little demo about scanning sure. larger and stitching. So you'll notice that you can see through the scanner, which is one of its prime features. And if you have something that's larger than a four by six inch, you will do multiple overlapping scans. Oh, yeah. um, when the original of this was 
this large. I took 10 scans. You would scan, lay it on a table, do scan, 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 and so on with an overlap in the pattern. Then when you take the SD card out, put it in your computer, either a Mac or a PC, it has something called Easy Stitch on it. And you say, okay, these 10 belong to this picture, go stitch. And it does it. You don't have to sit and worry about lining them up or whatever. It just uses pattern matching and away it goes. It stitched the photo of me riding on a dolphin beautifully. Great. All yeah. right. <laughs> this is an example of the individual yeah. files, what yeah. they look like. And yeah. then when they're stitched, they yeah. all go back like yeah. the original. Yeah. And you can't even see a line no. in between them. It's and, just a magic. And what I love about it is you can put this into an old photo album mm -hmm. where the pictures are all stuck in yep, there. I've, and I've done that. You, so yep. when you did that, how yep. did that go? Great. Yeah. And I, I don't worry so much about whether I've only got the one photo. I just whack it down because after I put the SD card in, I just crop the photo. Uh, you know, I, I swivel it and then crop yeah. it so I've got a perfect so if, if I may, I'd like to remind your listeners that yeah. it is an electronic device, and although Jill may whack it down... Oh, I believe that's <laughs> not a very good word in America. Sorry. I suggest... No, no, it's all right. <laughs> we suggest you gently set it down because you want to protect oh, the okay. document too, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, have you ever done a scan within a frame? No, I haven't, so you can okay. tell me about that. So you can put the flip pal right into a frame. Mm -hmm. Take it up, take, if you have That's a relative, do you have some that have oh, pictures yeah. of the frame and they don't want mm -hmm. them right out of their home? Yeah. So and, and they're disintegrating and they're getting that yes. shiny, yeah. yes. matte, yeah. silver. So you can take that picture off the wall, well, still yep. in the frame, yep. put the flip pal right into the frame and do the scanning with an item that's under glass. And, um, if, if I may, some people might say, well, I can do that already with my digital camera or even a camera on a phone. But right. This is right on it. So that's right. Yeah. This is right on it. Yeah. And there's three factors that help this mm -hmm. be much better and higher quality than yeah. a digital camera. Okay. Um, one is great optics. Digital cameras can have that too. Yes. But this has the built-in lighting and uh -huh. it's a stable platform. Yeah. It's as if it has its own tripod. Yeah. That's my problem. Sometimes I don't travel with the flip pal and I have to because of luggage limitations yeah. and I don't get as good an image. That's true. Yeah. So would you say about how often you carry your flip pal with you and is that pretty easy to uh, do? It is easy. I carry it in Australia lots. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just Qantas are a bit iffy about how much luggage Diane, I could you pass that yeah. ledger for a minute? Yeah. Have you ever used the flip pal for old documents that might be in unusual shape like no. this see i'm old. learning so diane would you like to talk about how this could be done sure and it, it's very similar to the picture, picture yeah you would carefully lay this over the top do multiple overlapping scans yeah. and then go ahead and stitch it in this one it lays flat so you can even do the center part of the ledger yeah, i was worried about the spines of the spines, this, this helps with yeah. books that have big curve and a it's spine a because you can actually see the scan bar mm -hmm. and so you want to keep the scan bar right on there. So you yeah. would lay this, if it was curved, mm -hmm. you'd lay this in here, rock it back and then hit the scan bar and rock it right onto that curved part of the book. I'll have to give it a go. Give it a go. It may take a little little bit of, of work to you know keep yeah. that scan bar on the paper, but Good. it's wonderful. Now, I'm just aware of time, and you've explained the things that I know that my flip pal can do, but I know you've got some new gadgets and some new functions that I haven't got. So I'm wondering if you can tell me about the new things associated okay. with the flip pal. Well, for us genealogists, we put together something called a sketch, sketch kit. And what this is, it's an acrylic sheet, very thin, and a damp erase marker. So what you would do, open up, you know, if you have someone that's talking to you about your photographs, and you're going, how do I label these? 
you can go ahead, lay this over the top of the photograph, lay right, and this is a very pretty fine tip marker, scan this, and so you always have an electronic label of your picture. Then you remove this yep. and do a proper scan so that you have an archival, you know, better quality scan for it. And it does scan it either That's 300. That's good because, yeah. yeah, my dad is, well, in my case, I probably will scan the back because Dad writes on them and I want his writing. But there are some that haven't got labels. But and Aunt Mary has told me. Yes. So that's perfect. And if you get mixed up, I have yeah. many with backs and I scan yeah. the front and the back and it's and like... you don't know which... Where, yeah. where, which is which. Yeah. Okay, that's one of our, our newer things. Another one, this is available, at least in America, right off the shelf at Best oh, Buy, yeah, Amazon, yeah, yeah. the X2 card. Yeah. And it has the same size mm -hmm. as the SD, the SD card, card. Yeah. that this uses. I have one right here in my yeah. pocket. Looks something like this. Slips right into the scanner, yeah. and then it goes directly to an iPhone, iPad. And what I'm an Android girl. And I am too. I have my Android, and it, and within a half minute. Oh, great! And yep. if it's 600 DPI, mm. then it will take. A we haven't bit got longer. those yet in Australia. They tend to come a bit later, and I I know what they are. I've seen them here, and I'm sure they'll come to Australia soon. Sure. The i5. Sure. Well, speaking yeah. of Australia, about speaking, yes, about speaking Australia. of Australia, Last what about my friends that are hanging out? Last to get one easily? week, we just announced that we are able. We have the regulation all set up. We are able to ship to Australia now. You can go to our website, flip-pal.com, yeah. um, put the scanner and the accessories that you want in the cart, and then it, it, there is a separate button for international shipping. So yeah. Australia, New Zealand, yeah. and then the uh, European United countries. I've got a lot of friends in New Zealand, so okay. yeah. they'll, be, they'll, they'll be so excited as well. I bet we're relatives. Oh, we probably are. <laughs> <laughs> All back to Adam. Well, that's, that's fantastic. Thank you so much Thank for you. telling us. In closing, Joe, all about, if I may, yes, it's you wonderful may. to be with genealogists. And That's good. Would you say a word or two why? Why we have so much fun doing this? They're wonderful people. They love collaboration. Yeah. They love their families and bringing families together by sharing their photos, their information, and yeah. just being there. Well, the theme that came through in two of the talks I went to this morning, they're on completely different subjects was the value of collaboration and both of the presenters were encouraging us to collaborate with others and this flip pal here is a perfect vehicle for that collaboration so thanks for telling us about it and I hope lots of Aussies grab them. Thank you it's wonderful Thank to be you. here Jill. Thanks Diane. Thank Thanks you. Please.